my first uh, conclusion was uh, there is pieces uh, of plastics everywhere, what we call microparticles of plastics everywhere on, uh, in all the oceans. Uh, that's one thing. And the second thing, the oceans are so huge, so big, uh, that the plastic is spread uh, on, uh, on, uh, on the, the water uh, in a small pa uh, particles. And uh, it's just for me uh, totally impossible to try to clean that. So the fight has to be on the land before the plastic can reach the water. Today, where we are uh, uh, making more than uh, three uh, uh, three hundred fifty millions of tons of plastics every year, yeah. and ten percent of that is just ending in the ocean. But fifty percent of the plastic that we are uh, uh, creating every year is just ending on landfills, and that's it. Today, the, 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 the plastic waste has no value on the market, and when you have no, no value, nobody wants to, to take it, to pick up yes. it. So, how we can give value to the plastics, this is a, is a, is a very difficult uh, uh, question, and uh, plastic is made by petrol. So, plastic is very kilocalorific. So, transforming the plastic on, uh, in energy with uh, uh, new technologies, you can uh, make electricity, you can sell the electricity with. So this is a one way, uh, it's the urgent way to transform the plastic waste uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in money. By using high temperature pyrolysis, you are working between 800 to 900 degrees and you, are, you can put all kind of plastic in the machine. You don't need to clean them before. You need just to shred them and you get a syngas as an output. And after that, this syngas, you can transform it in electricity with a, a, a gas machine.